to show you an issue I'm having. It's aphids. Real closely on these little tomato cluster here. You should be able to see them. I'll carry some over here. You see them on that leaf there. And down. They're everywhere in here and I'm getting tired of treating them. You can never ever get rid of them completely. So I've bought another option. Let me show you. That. They're even on my squash. I don't think they discern what they eat much. There you go. Let me open the package and show you what they look like. So this is what I end up getting. I bought two 300 or 1500 package of ladybugs here and it doesn't look anywhere close to 1500 in there so there's nowhere near 3000 but there's definitely a good portion of them that are alive and I'll open this bag up and we'll see which you know how empty it gets how many may be dead and how many are alive. I can see a lot are alive, so that's good. I did buy some lacewig nymphs, and there were hardly any in it at all. And that's, that's pretty pathetic. There were supposed to be a thousand of them things, and I think I saw maybe four or five total alive. Pretty, pretty bad. There we go. I wanted to give them a little tray of water. You see they're already drinking. So hopefully more of them will find it. I did do this before in my big greenhouse probably five years ago, maybe four years ago. And um, they just disappeared within two or three days. I don't know where they went. The greenhouse is more or less closed. But this one is even more closed. So hopefully that won't happen. I need them to get rid of the aphids. I do like ladybugs a lot. I think they're really neat little bugs. Beetles. So a lot of them alive. I'm very happy so far. They're starting to climb around everywhere. Hopefully they'll get on the plants and start doing their magic. Oh, they're spreading around. It's only been about five minutes. So an update on the ladybugs most of them have died off but they have they started breeding immediately and they have created the little um, larvae you see this one walking right here you can actually see two of them right there and there's a lot of them and it looks like this one won't be long before he's morphs back into a ladybug. But I've got them in all kinds of sizes. There's another one right there. And they're on the plants too, so... I mean, this is a pretty good aphid infestation. It's even on, there even some on the floor here. Got one of my peppers up here. Get close. I don't know how well it that'll show. Pretty cool creatures. Even got a couple on the squash. In there. In there. Different sizes. You can see here on the squash that there's a there's a lot of aphid. Another one on the leaf right there. Put my finger in it so you can see. Ooh, a couple of them. So they're going to town, which is good. I hope they'll continue to cycle from larvae to adult mate and continue to do it until uh, until they're gone. I do not want to spray any chemical fertilizers in here. I've got groups up there. I've got some starting to change here and I've got 
got lots of cherries. You can see them coming up here, all the way up, and even in here. Over here is a Juliet. So I'm going to turn it right in there. And I've got some on the counter. I'll show this you. This is Succeed. Tomato breeding of mine. Actually, that was my first tomato ever. It was a mutant spur from, or it wasn't a mutant spur, excuse me, it was a cross of some sort. I just never figured out what it was. My guess is maybe Cherokee purple, but it doesn't behave like Cherokee purple. Here I've got my favorite tomato that's not of mine. Breeding is chocolate stripes. It's a fantastic shape. It's not completely ripe yet. I picked them when they first started turning just like I did they succeed here. This will get really brown instead of purple like Cherokee purple. It's quite unique. I like it a lot. These uh, ladybug larvae have made a significant difference in here. I've removed some of the older ones, older plants, but these uh, ladybug larvae have made a significant difference. They're actually doing a great job and you can see them all over everything in here and even if you look closely right here this one's going into the I don't, know what, I don't know what the term is but it's mutating back into a ladybug this larvae here is is going to be a ladybug pretty soon metamorphosis <laughs> I don't know Anyway, yeah, it's it's fantastic, and you get these um, little larvae everywhere. So I imagine it's about to complete the cycle again, and then hopefully they will breed and continue to make more larvae, because it seems like the larvae are more effective than the beetles themselves. Which, when I got them, they didn't last very long as adults before they died or disappeared. But I'm looking at all the foliage, and uh, it's looking really good. A significant improvement. So, yeah, this one was worth it, but not because of what I expected. Because the beetles bred, laid eggs, hatched into the larvae, and then did major damage. We'll see if it repeats. This is Brent, you guys. We'll see what happens.